Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Dead Estate. Of course, we started this series off yesterday with a giveaway as well, so if you haven't entered that already, go check the previous episode. But people should interest in wanting to see more of this game and uh, someone suggested just starting a new save file and playing it through, so I've decided at least for a little bit to make this my weekend series. Uh, I'll upload it on the weekends. Sometimes it'll be uh, an episode on Saturday and Sunday, like it is this weekend. Other times it might just be the one day, depends how much time I have. But either way, if people like this game and want me to keep playing it, make sure to like leave a like on the video and let me know in the comments. But let, let's uh, let's get into it and yeah, try and uh, start a new save file and see what we can do. We've got uh, nothing unlocked so far here, so we're just going to be kind of jumping in from normal, uh, go on normal mode, and see what we can make happen. Because yeah, we uh, had a decent amount unlocked in that previous save file and I didn't really um, remember all too much of it. I really need to get the volume right on this game. One thing I find difficult is the volume settings are a little... That's not volume, that's video. Um, it's kind of hard to get right, so maybe go with um, sounds? Let's see what that's like. I don't want it to be crazy loud, but I want it to be a little bit better than it was. Yeah, that's nice, okay. But yeah, we've got some health there that we don't need. Let me know if you guys uh, are okay with what the volume's currently like at the moment. 2 HP, come on now not fair because I, I can't get that for later du -du -du -du. hello mrs boob lady how are you edible bullets destroying your weapon heals you that's really good bosses spawn with lower hp we'll probably go for that that sounds pretty darn useful especially on our first run with the new save file but yeah um if you guys really like this game please do uh let me know because yeah if you guys um want me to keep playing this i'd be happy to hear it because uh, i really enjoyed this game and there is a reason that i uh supported it so heavily when it first um got published both in terms of i wrote up a, a glowing review of the game because i genuinely do really love it um and also just like i said i i helped out with a few of the early testing and development things i'm still like just really grateful that i got the opportunity to do that but also really happy that they took a lot of my suggestions to heart and made some key changes to the game Chicken ramen do more damage when you have less than 100. Uh, that's actually pretty useful because we're about to have less than 100. In fact, I think what we should maybe do is um, see how much of a damage increase that ends up being by uh, spending our 300. Hey, there you go. Um, spending our 300 on the item. Uh, let's kill these guys first. These are definitely new enemies, right? Um, and then after that, we can uh, go straight into our boss fight. In fact, we might actually, yeah, this room might have actually made us more money. <laughs> okay, I'll carry on for now then and see see where I can leave my money at. That, the, the fire effect on that enemy is so, so damn cool. Uh, Pogo stick, bouncy. So hold right click to destroy a weapon, right click to swap. I don't really remember how the pogo stick works. I can't remember with, with secret rooms if I have to shoot them to, to uncover them or if they're just uncovered by default. Either way, we, 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 we should be fine for chunks here, so I'm just going to make our way through. Definitely seems like you get more money than you used to in this game. I, I swear when I first played it, like, money was... I will not say it's hard to come by, but you definitely didn't get this much. I feel like this is a lot. Like, a lot on a lot. Um... So we will we will see. Um one second. Yeah. We will see what we can do. So let's go in here and we'll grab the uh bosses starting with lower HP. I'm guessing it'll be around 20% lower. I don't think it'll be a lot. I think that might be a secret room there. I should check it out. She can get quite a lot of good stuff from them. It might not be the Yeah, it's hard to know. I can't remember. I'm gonna have to just work it out, aren't I? It's gonna be a little bit of a learning process. We've potentially got some damage to buy here from the other shop. We've also got this thing. Uh, how does my pogo stick work? Interesting, but dangerous. I, uh, I'm clearly hitting myself quite easily by, by using that. So, in fact, I'm just going to I'm just gonna sell it. Because I just don't think I'm going to get too much use out of that. And I'd rather just sell it now. I don't remember selling a weapon while it's on uh, high ammo gives you more money. But... To be honest, I would assume that it does. We've got some sort of halo here. I don't know if we'll be able to get this done in time. 40 seconds for these rooms is potentially pretty tricky, but we'll give it a go regardless. I don't know if these guys can give you money. I don't think they can by the looks of it. Oh, no, they can. 
So it's still, it's still worth fighting these regardless because we're still going to get money. But yeah, 24 seconds here. It's probably not going to work out for us. Like I said, we try our best. A lot, the thing is, a lot of these enemies spawn into other enemies. That's that's the, the really sort of pain point here. But we did it. Nice one. And we get ourselves mixed enemies. Projectiles slower as they approach you. Very useful defensively. I'm happy with that. No secret room. I don't know if a secret room is guaranteed to spawn every floor as well. That's another thing that we've got to uh, pick up and learn. But yeah, this game's got a really interesting past as well. The fact that it was a Newgrounds game that got, like, released as a full game and created into this, I think it's really cool. Um, so, again, I'm going to go for strength here. I, I think when you're playing as a character that has reasonably high starting HP, um, we go with that. Okay. I like the fact that he heals between rooms now as well. That's good. Anyways, let's go do our boss. We'll fight chunks another time. Especially when we've got more damage. We'll see if we get Big Slime or the Mother. We did get the Mother. Um, we're at 17 damage now. That's a bit of damage from uh, our upgrades, but then a bit of damage from having lower than 100 uh, money as well. Very nice to have. But yeah, this guy starts at lower HP, and that's clearly the case, because we absolutely annihilated you there. And we'll move on once again. I maybe could have bought Agility there, I think, because I think Agility is only 150. Bit of move Honestly, movement speed is something that I re really do underrate quite heavily and probably should make a point to buy more often. My god, one sec. Right, let's keep this going. Crack these open. We're at 16 damage, so we're only getting one extra damage when below 100 gold. So that's really not a lot. These enemies proved to be pretty tricky last time uh, we fought them. They've got multiple attacks. I've been hit quite a few times here already. Let's... Be careful. Again, I think one of the biggest sort of things for me in terms of learning how to sort of play this game is just getting used to that whole perspective issue of like when there's an enemy above you and when shots are fired in an arc really does take a little bit of learning to sort of get used to how the game deals with uh, projectiles above you in the air. It's kind of the same in The Binding of Isaac to be honest as well. Like any any game that's got this sort of view, I feel, always has that issue of, like, it's kind of... Damn it. It's kind of difficult to, like, see enemies moving towards you and, like, above you on or whatnot. Like, that guy's kind of tricky. We got... We got the toilet paper again. It's... it. This is a tricky one because while I do thoroughly want it... Like, I, we'll, we'll leave it there for now. Increases fire rate but cause projectiles to curve. Interesting. Become more common, but all pots will be erased in five seconds of entering a room. Um, when hits a zero HP, you'll stay alive, rapidly losing money until you hit zero. Kind of interesting. I'm going to go with this, and then I'm going to take curveball as well. How? Okay, that's... They, they always curve the same way. That's pretty much fine. And then, will that toilet paper stay there? Yes, it will. Hmm. See, the thing is, on my first run here, I really ought to try and get as far as I can. But at the same time, I'm very intrigued by... I could go pot there. I'm very intrigued by the whole idea of um, the toilet paper and who that is given to as a form of currency. Because I imagine it's somewhat important. I imagine there's going to be something, some character unlock or... I'm really not sure that's going to be good with that. Also, it seems that like my damage didn't increase off of this. Oh, it's fire rate. Okay. That's fine, then. So my DPS has increased, but not my damage. Finding this guy... These enemies are particularly difficult. The fact that they've got an on-death effect as well makes them even harder. The curve bullets aren't so bad in these uh, the size of the rooms that we have here. It's in bigger rooms that it really caused me an issue. Um, diamond shotgun sounds awesome. Makes enemies explode into money. Oh, that sounds incredible. Okay, um, we'll see if we can get that, but I don't know. One thing that I'm still not sure about either is, like, how certain rooms spawn. Like, the health shop that we got on the first floor spawns on the first floor every time. But, oh, 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 oh wait. The pot still dropped HP, even though it disappeared. Good to know. I didn't think that would be the case. 
Did not think that would be the case. Two golden pots here. Get them. Awesome. Yeah, these care bullets are a little annoying. Gonna take some getting used to. Uh, item chest here. Fully heals you upon picking it up. Unfortunately, Ambrosia is probably one of the worst things you can get out of a chest because it is it's like it has a one-time effect and that's it. But I was low on HP, so it's not a bad thing entirely. It's just a little bit wasteful for an item chest, really. Okay, we'll see if we can do our thing here. We don't have a weapons chest yet. Um, this is a double item. I'm going to just hold off until I get my weapon before doing that. And I realize, obviously, we've run the risk of chunks. The man, the myth, the legend. Honestly, our fire rate increase is pretty nice here. It'd be nice if we could, it could tell us exactly how much of an increase it is. I would like to know, but... Still, I'm liking it for now. Here's our weapon chest. Dead man's gun. Damage increases you kill enemies. Resets upon leaving a room. Okay. It's basically like um, Lusty Blood from Isaac as a gun. I do like that. Now, one thing that is clearly obvious in this game as well is guns having limited ammo. They, they have very, very little ammo, actually. Yeah. Got it. Nice one. Thought I was going to lose that there. But this is actually a pretty good gun to get on a room like this because... Quite a lot of enemies means we should be able to stack the damage pretty high. It's also doing 20 damage a shot, which is reasonably good. Apparently not good enough. Okay, there you go. It's scaling pretty fast now. Up to 28. It's up to 30. It's up to 35. It's up to 38. Okay, we might be able to do this, actually. 41. 43. Wow, okay. That was really good. Grants an additional 1 max HP for every 1,000 you have. Eh, that's not super useful yet, but maybe later. And then here we have Eggy. Maggots. Literally no idea what that is. Okay, we got Chunks on us again here. Is this the, is this the point to try and kill him? Maybe. I don't remember how you kill him, I'll be honest. I know that you can, but I don't remember how. I'm just going to try it, see if we can get him. I'm not sure if it's like a certain amount of hits or if it's a specific damage type or something. But obviously, I'm dealing zero damage at the minute. He's definitely got some new attacks. He never used to do that before. He used to do the little hand slam, but that was it. The hand slam also seems to have like a much, much larger radius to it now. I just want to see if I can kill him because I'm pretty sure there's, a, there's an achievement and an unlock for killing him. Oh, there you go. There you go. Knockout chunks. We did it. Nice, we get a good bit of cash out of that as well. Good stuff. Obviously, I did waste my... Uh, I did waste my thingy there, uh, my my weapon. But, I don't know, it works out. Works out reasonably nicely. And I suppose, actually, in this case now, we can go and buy this diamond shotgun. Which only has 20 ammo, so I'm definitely going to save it. And it cost me quite a lot, so I'm, I'm just hoping I can recoup the losses of it. We'll see. And what boss we got here? The Idol of Worship. Okay, we don't have great damage here. We'll see how quickly we can kill this guy. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm, I'm reckoning it's going to be three phases, though. Oh, no, we got... Okay, he starts with low HP, doesn't he? I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Right, so. Time to use this diamond shotgun to see what we can do. We've cleared out the second story. I can't remember how you unlock the alt path, I'll be honest, but we'll get there when we get to it. People that are playing this game as well can um, give me tips and remind me things that I may have forgotten. Always open to that. So. Holy shit, okay. That is an incredible amount of money. Okay, there's the maggots. I saw maggots there. Holy sugar tits. <laughs> I didn't expect it to give me this much money. Wow. Um, make your screen grayscale. Chance for enemies to explode on death. Uh, chance... Uh, oh, sorry. Grant's an extra jump. 
I'll go for both of those. I like both of those. Oh, secret room. I see it. Chance for golden enemies to spawn that drop only gold coins. Okay. Like the idea, I'll leave my weapon chest there for now. So secret rooms are just something that we can visibly see show up. Damn it. What are the maggots for? We've got a few maggots chasing us, and I, I really don't know what the what their deal is. Good. Go get our weapon chest. Having double jump here is rather nice. Look how high you can get. Whoa. Nice. Fire punch. Don't mind it. Don't mind if I do. I'm interested to see the golden enemies. I wonder how common they are. If this foot is the thing that screwed me over last time, I'll be honest, I don't really understand how to predict it. Is there a little... Oh, there is actually a thing on the floor you can see, look. The visible mark of where he's going to stomp. Do I have to get under it before he stomps? No, not with the looks of things. Kind of a tricky enemy. We've got it in the end. Try and get to this pot. Yeah, got it. Do the maggots deal damage? I've got to find out here. Let's just, just, just hold up a minute. No, he teleport. It doesn't matter. I don't, don't really know what the maggots do. I'm sure they do something, because there's an item that's granting them, but... You'll never know. You get out of here. Oh! Oh, shit! I didn't realise those masks were here. I can't shoot the maggots. I can't walk over the maggots. It's interesting. Oh, God, the rabbits. I forgot about these goddamn rabbits. They, like, jump into the holes. And, like, pop out other holes. You gotta be really careful around them. Haha! <laughs> I can actually get up high enough. I can get up high enough to shoot that guy in the air. That's pretty funny. We'll go for this and we'll, we'll use our fire fist. I like doing these rooms. I feel like there's not much downside to doing them, apart from, obviously, the just potential chance to lose HP. And apparently that chance is high with me because I'm bad. To be fair, these enemies are just crazy. Okay, this thing, you just destroy the heart and it kills all of them. Okay, we have lost a considerable amount of HP here. Very considerable. Buying three items from the shop on the same floor gives you a free item chest. I might go buy an Ambrosia, to be honest. Because that counts as our third purchase, right? Although, saying that, hello. Uh, let's get an Agility. And we'll go with a Strength. And we'll go with an Ambrosia. There's the chest as well. Okay, nice, that worked. Weapon rooms will contain two weapon chests instead of one. Reasonably useful. Requires a bit of backtracking to make it take advantage of, but... Don't mind it. Junk's on us again, he is. We won't kill him this time. Look at you. Quick, ten golden pots, nice. I see this arm thing. Seeing if I can kill him with the fire, but I don't know how effective this is. I don't know if killing him multiple floors in a row does much either, to be honest. Ow. Maybe a little bit of a waste. We didn't take too long to kill him last time, so we've got more damage now. Bad room to fight him in, to be honest, for having an extra way of getting hit, but there you go. Also, this agility is proving to be very useful. Jump height and then double jump on top of that. Really nice. There you go, we got him. Bit of extra money again. Something I just want to check is, do I get, like, retroactively get an extra weapon chest here?
No, I don't. I've already opened it. I didn't think I would, but I had to check just in case. So far, we've got some pretty interesting items, though. Nothing run-defining, but we've got some cool stuff. These goddamn enemies are so tricky. They move so fast. Got you, good, good. These guys are kind of creepy. These, def these are definitely new. But pretty insane. One of you guys as well. Oh, Lord. I forgot you did that. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, we don't have to worry about Chunks chasing us now, so that's nice. It's good to kill him when you can. Okay, get over there. Honestly, this item that throws out the golden pots all the time is really nice. HP there. We got a chest. That's really good. Slightly increases all of our stats. I really don't mind that. And boss time. What boss do we have here? Oh, whoa. This is definitely new. Very, very cool looking, but definitely a new boss. Like a big old shrimp. Kind of tricky. Damn it. Kind of tricky, not gonna lie. Kind of tricky. Like, if this big old ball went away, please? I'm just gonna leave the room and come back in, see if it disappears. Nice, it does. Wow, okay. Probably should have bought some more stats there, actually. I had a lot of money. I, I could have bought some HP. Probably would have been a, a good idea. But we clear another floor. We are doing well. We are doing well. I think, honestly, getting this thing that lowers the boss's HP has been super valuable. Okay, Leo, remember if we buy three things, we get uh, more. So, damage boost, but all your bullets move in random directions. Shotgun shells move faster and won't lose speed over time. Oh, Lord, she's in a very seductive perch right now. Staying in a room for a while will cause bombs to drop from the ceiling. Is that a good thing? I'm gonna hope it is. I'm gonna buy all of these and get my extra chest. Um, shots turning on enemies, nice. Considering we have the crazy shots and stuff, probably pretty good. Oh, okay, they, they hum fairly aggressively. Yeah, quite aggressively, okay. So all of our shots moving in weird directions, that's not a big thing. And there's the, uh, the bombs falling down there, that's rather nice. Oh god, I remember these things. These little blue things are kind of a nightmare. Dude. Any room where we can sit up above the enemies, it's kind of cracked with those bombs falling down. I wonder if that works on bosses too. Like, I would just sit up here, and then wait, and then the bombs start falling. Do they fall multiple times or just the once? It looks like they fall just the once. So it's not going to insta-clear every room. That's still pretty good, though. Teleport back. Happy with my damage right now as well. 20 pair shot with the pistols. Really good. See, one of the... Um... One of the things that uh, changed in the very late development of the game, actually, this was only a few weeks before the game was set to launch, um, is uh, when, when I was, like, helping out with it, um, is when you had a cust like, when you had another weapon from a weapon chest, like one that expends ammo, you couldn't switch back to your pistol. It was impossible. You had to, um, you had to, like, stick to your guns and just use that gun and then use it until it ran out of ammo and then you'd get then you'd go back to your pistol and then when you picked up the next weapon you had to fully use the ammo before you could use your pistol again and i said the main issue for me with that was like you couldn't destroy pots without wasting ammo for, for potentially really good guns or if you got a gun midway through a floor like from a secret room chest that had insane like that, that had like really low ammo but really high damage you couldn't save it for your boss what does this do again Oh, hello. We unlocked Mumbu. Awesome. 
I knew that was some sort of unlock, but I couldn't remember exactly what. Ow. I kind of forgot the purple stuff hurt me there. And bombs are ace. Awesome. Increase the chance of cultist shops to appear. Ooh, I love those shops. They were great. Two weapon chests here, so we get one diamond shotgun we just take now and earn some money off of. We come back for the other one. Ammo. Oh god, that's a very, very speedy attack. The hell are you guys? Oh, you explode. Okay. Certainly some risk involved in this floor, and I'm sure Chunks is going to come and try and beat my ass. Unlock this door real quick. In fact, one minute, one minute. I've made a mistake here. I'm pretty sure there was Ambrosia for sale in here. There was. Very much want that. Thank you. Don't really like buying HP in, ga in games like Roguelikes. I feel like it's something that you ought to get out of the habit of. But in this situation, it was needed. Two items again. We definitely go for this. Obviously, these rooms do get harder, but with our homing and the current damage we have, I'm pretty happy to, to go for this and feel reasonably confident that we can get it done. Obviously, it depends on the enemies. These enemies are particularly annoying in terms of the amount of health they have. The bomb certainly helps there. Didn't, didn't really remember those coming in, but very nice. Guarantees that the bank elevator will appear, appear on every floor. Don't know what the bank elevator is. A button will appear in all weapon chest rooms that allows you to reroll the contents of the chests. Can only be used five times. Good, I can hear my heart beating, so our friend is, yeah, he's near. Okay, we can speed through the rooms reasonably quickly here and stay out of the way of him. So now I can reroll my weapons, which is interesting. This isn't what I meant to do, but there you go. Wax! So now Chunks will reappear, but only after a short amount of time. He doesn't instantly reappear after uh, after entering a shop. It'll be a little bit of time before he does. Oh, is that is that a golden enemy? It drops gold. Definitely a yeah. It is nice. Okay, awesome, useful. Can I use this again? No, I can't. It's a bit of a shame you can't use those more than once. Be a nice addition. Coming again. Here he is. At this point, again, we probably could just kill him. Kind of got him stuck there a little bit. It's a bad room to fight him in, I'll be honest. Committed to fighting him every floor now, so why not? Get up here to get away from that wave. Gotta be close to dead now. Come on, big fella. Take the L. Oh, I Bloody. He healed 200 HP. I mean, that's not. There's only 10 shots, but. My bad, though. There we go, we got him. Right, to the boss fight. Let's go. We have made our way away. We unlocked Mumbu as well. I'm very happy about that. It's a class that I really like. Very low health, very high speed. 
And we'll see what we'll see what boss we got here. Our shots are so crazy right now, they're moving all over the place. Oh hello! Actually to fight this cultist woman. Wasn't expecting that. Another new boss to me. Lots and lots of new stuff for me to see. I'm really enjoying that. Really enjoying that. I, I honestly, I knew there's been, a, I know there's been a lot of updates, but I thought it was mainly just items, guns, and um, new characters. I didn't actually think they'd added new bosses. So really pleasant surprise. And obviously, there's been a bunch of balance changes and stuff as well. Hello. The heck. I don't know if there was anything I was supposed to do with that woman, but that was a bit of a shocker. Clear the laboratory. I think there's two more floors left. I can't remember. Runs in this game, I, I swear, tends to be around 40 minutes. I think there's two floors left. Oh, no, no. We're on the last floor now. Okay, so that, I think that's I think that's how we loop if we want to do a if we want to do a, a loop. I th I'm sure there's achievements for, but we don't want to do that right now. So we got this here. Destroying your weapon heals you. Let's let's try and reroll. Um, I don't exactly know how I reroll. Oh wait, it's because there's weapon chests in here too. I see. So we've got. Rapidly shoots nails with high accuracy. We've also got the golden gun. Let's take the golden gun. It's only got seven bullets. And then... Reroll that into the paddle. Okay, we'll just take the golden gun for now. And we got you, hello. One minute. Tried, damn it. Blood vial, Goria kills. Bullets shoot further and increase maximum um, health and jump height. We'll take that. Bullets shoot further, why not? Oh, wait, actually, 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 actually. Blood vial as well, and it gives us a chest. Nice. Allows pots and enemies to sometimes drop hot peppers, which burn enemies upon being picked up. Reasonable. We got this here, which we don't have the key for at the moment. I know how to get that, though. I do remember how to get the key. Kind of. It's something to do with the alt floor, which I don't remember how to get to, so... I, I remember half of it. Anyways, this is our boss fight for the run, I believe. So, I think we're good. Um, Of course, we do have this golden gun. It only has seven bullets, which makes me think it's going to be very good. Um, So, we'll see. And obviously, the boss will start with slightly less health as well. Which is rather useful. A little padlock. Crew detected. Lockdown initiated. Self-destruct sequence beginning in five. No, let me out. So we do have to fight this guy. He is a little tricky. I, th I can't remember, but I think he has multiple phases. Oh, Lord. Speedy. Aha, yeah, this I remember now. There you go. So you basically you you kill him and then you get this launcher. Clear the game on normal difficulty, you unlock a new difficulty and a new bonus floor at the bank. Okay. Interesting. Nice. We got our first run cleared. I'm pretty happy with that. I think we played reasonably well. Um also we unlocked the realtor for clearing a run with a thousand in our pockets. I'm glad I didn't spend too much. A nice unlock to gain. I think that was a really good progress on our first run there um, of the new save file. But yeah, if you guys want to keep, uh, want me to want to see me keep playing this, please do let me know. Um, like I said, it's going to be a weekend series. Sometimes it'll be birthdays. Sometimes it'll just be the one. Uh, so you'll get at least one episode a week, uh, maybe two. Um, now, now try beating the game as Jules. I love the fact the game does this, by the way. Pe a lot of people jump into roguelikes not realizing how important it is to replay the game over and over again with other characters to do different things and get different endings. I really like the fact that the game says, now do this. I want you to beat a runner. It does it multiple times with different characters too. I, I really think it's a great idea by the developers. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.